think we meet all the uh, regulations. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back. So in this episode here, we're gonna make a couple of uh, cornhole boards, uh, the official size. Um, we got a four bank sheet here. We're gonna try to get two sets out of this one sheet. Now we think about it, the one of the rules says it's supposed to be 24 by 48. But well, anytime you cut this, you're never gonna get exactly, you can get uh, a 24 by 48, but it take two full sheets because by the time the plow is not even exactly four foot, it's an eighth of an inch shy of four foot wide and about an eighth of an inch shy of eight foot long. So it actually says that you can have it anywhere, uh, width can be 23.5 inches to 24 inches and then 47.5 to 48. Okay, so we'll be able to get the two uh, two sets out of this one piece of plywood by ripping it, I cut it right down the center and then cut it this way here, okay? We got our two boards cut down now. So the actual width came out just an eighth of an inch shy of four foot of two foot, and the length is about an eighth of an inch shy of four foot. So we're we're very close. We got it almost. Pretty close to two by four, so we're good there. All right, the hole, it calls for a six inch hole and 12 inches, but I wanna make sure that I go, I'm gonna mark it 12 this way and 12 this way, since my board's not quite exactly two foot. So, and then it'll go center of that. And then uh, from the top, it's nine inches down. Okay. <laughs> what I'm going to do is just take and lay my other board underneath, line up my edges. And then I'll just use that for my. All right, I'm gonna cut these down to uh, four foot or actually center again, the eight foot board, just cut it right in the center. All right, I've got it planed down one side. This is one side. And what I was looking for is get a square edge. So here's kind of the difference. Um, I want to put the top on. Um, you'll have a little a seam there, but it'll be a little closer, tighter than if we didn't do. And like I said, you can do, you don't have to do the square edge, but if you do it without, um, you can kind of see here a little bit more of a hole in there. So it just kind of cleans it up a little bit more. All right, cut the 45s. I, I left my stop block when I cut them to length. Leave it there at the same position. Uh, pull it, change your saw to 45 degree. I want to make sure that the, uh, the side that I plane down with the square edge is going to be the outside. Uh, so I want it against the fence and I want my 45 to come in this way, okay? So we're going to cut them like this, the stop block will put me exactly to where my board with 45 is still the same length if I didn't move my stop block.
All right, for the legs, just 13 inches. And then we'll round the uh, top part here over. All right, um, so for the legs, when we marked it up, it's uh, centered. So inch and three quarter in, and then in, inch and three quarter in from this end here. And then we want to hold it off about a half inch from here if we get it too close. Uh, we want the legs to tilt just a little bit back like that when it's in the, uh, up, the upright position. And then we'll cut this at the angle that we need it. That'll hold it in place. If we cut it too straight, it might have a chance to fall down. So we're going to hold it in. Just got a half inch piece of plywood there. We'll set it there. Clamp it down. two uh, half inch carriage bolts in here. All right, the, um, the back end here needs to be 12 inches off the ground, the top here. So um, what we'll do, then I get the leg down and then we'll just mark it before we cut it. All right, we're gonna cut this little angle here. My angle ended up being just right about 20 degrees. Everyone's gonna be a little different, just depends on, like I said, you gotta put your leg down to mark it, so it's not all gonna be 20 degrees. So mark it and just cut the line, okay? So we'll get it cut. Um... All right, cut the legs on. The last thing I'm gonna do is just install a back brace. Uh, actually, they. One of the rules I've read up on that if you use half inch plywood that you have to have a back brace. If you use three quarter, you don't really need a back brace. The back brace is mainly to when the bags hit, kind of dead centered to keep them from bouncing hard. So I just uh, dropped the two by four in here in the center. Uh, so we have plenty of support and then I'll just put a couple screws in from either side and that'll be the back brace for this one here. All right, guys, we got these all built, so uh, I think we meet all the uh, regulations. Uh, Four inches high on the front, 12 on the back, two foot by four foot, six inch hole, nine inches down. So here's the other one here, I'll show you the back. So this is simple. They install the brace in the center, flip out legs. Uh, I did end, end up uh, adding a couple little blocks here. Uh, the maple here, just kind of where it hits all the time. Uh, and that was also to keep it, uh, whenever I put it down, it keeps it perfectly flat here on these arms here. So, uh, so there you go, guys. Uh, there you go. Ready to do whatever uh, you want with them. Put a skin on it or paint it or whatever. Uh, so we do appreciate you watching in and uh, we'll see you on the next one.